Well, 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 hello there people. Welcome back to my channel and today I want to show you how to measure parasitic draw on your car. If you do have a battery that's draining overnight or something, uh, it is vital to check what is causing the drain. And uh, the method I'm going to show you here is not a, a, a new method, so to speak, but I've been using this method for many years and uh, there is a lot of videos about this um, thing on YouTube and on different forums and stuff so I'm not the first one to come up with this but uh, I just want to add this info on my channel so you the viewers can um, like the viewers of my channel if you do search for something you will find a, a video about it and um, this is obviously my uh, 1992 124 500E Aka, the Black Beauty, uh, which is going under the knife. <laughs> um, so, yeah. What I'm doing here is basically measuring voltage drop over the fuse. Because a voltage drop would mean that there's going voltage and amperage between or through that fuse. And that is the theory. Uh, you don't get uh, an exact measurement of how much amperage is going through. There is a, a way of calculating that with the reading that you get and all that stuff. But that is not the most important thing. The most important thing is to know which circuit is actually draining your battery. And uh, on a newer car, this is basically vital. Because, um, like you all know, on a newer car, there's a lot of ECUs and CAN bus systems and stuff. And if you do disconnect the fuse and put it back in, you will wake up the system and you will get a false reading when it comes to how much amperage is drawn from the battery when, when stuff is turning back on. So that is why this method is so great, because... And you also, uh, you don't have to like disconnect the battery and find yourself alligator clips and, and disconnecting or connecting the leads between in series or <laughs> connecting the leads in series with the, say the negative cable. Here you can just remove the fuse box cover, measure on top of the fuses and see if you do get a reading. And the reading you want to see is zero volts. If you do have parasitic draw, you will see anything above zero volts. So if you do have like zero point, I'm sorry for the, <laughs> the running numbers here, but if you do have like say 0 0.1, you do have um, uh, a parasitic draw. It doesn't tell you how much amperage it is, but it says that some current is going through that fuse. If you don't have a parasitic draw, you will read 0, 0.0. And that is the only thing I want to show you here. And um, so I'm not going to drag it out. I want to keep this video short for a change. And uh, i chosen a specific circuit here. It's the C fuse, which is the fuse for rear roof light, trunk light, central locking system, and door lights, which is a very easy way to show you what I mean here, or how you will read the reading, or how... <laughs> now I'm babbling again, I'm sorry. But uh, now you can see what reading you will uh, expect to see, or you can expect to see. Now you can see my uh, roof, no, <laughs> my door light is on. And uh, let me take you over here and we can do a measurement. So I connected one of the leads on top of the fuse and I put my other probe on the other side of the fuse and the reading says 0 0.1 so my door is open, the light is on of course I'm gonna have a parasitic draw even 0 0.2 so then we close the door the light is supposed to go off and I think it does or I think I've done it, or I think it has, I think it, <laughs> my God, I think it's off. So we can check that now. 0, 0.0, voila, I do not have a parasitic draw 
on this particular circuit. So you will have to repeat this testing method to each and every one of the fuses to see if some of the uh, circuits or fuses is draining your battery. So it's a bit of harder way of doing it, but it's the most accurate or <clears throat> it's the most correct way of doing it. Um, so at least I think so. I've been using this method for many years and I think it works very nice. Um, so yeah, that was all people. I really hope you liked the video for what it is. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my future videos. Until then, I hope you have a great day and see you guys later. Bye, bye, bye. See ya.